together is good. I just wonder if you Hi guys, this is Ellie and for this month's craftables I decided to show you guys how to make a hanging chew toy. Since this month of August doesn't have a holiday, I thought of doing something that I've made before. Since Marcy loves to climb and chew, this is a perfect chew toy for her and hopefully for your little hand too. So the materials you will need are twine, the bag of chews by wear, you can also use any other hamster safe wooden chews as long as they have a hole in the middle. Another example would be the super pet apple orchard sticks that are typically made for the kebabs. You'll also need a pair of scissors and not shown here a clipboard. So the item I'm using is jute as part of the materials for this chew toy and jute is also known as twine and this is a controversial topic but some people believe that this isn't safe for hamsters. I personally think it's perfectly fine since it's made from a vegetable fiber. It's the easy digestible and the hamsters can chew on it and it seems normal to me. Um, there are some hamster toys out there in the market that do use jute or um, in this case uh, twine to wrap around their chew toys they put it on the a uh, couple of the wooden huts things like that um so i think it's perfectly safe but if you choose not to use this you can use something this else is just what i'm using for this chew toy in particular so what you're going to do is take a pair of scissors and you are going to cut out four strands of twine about two feet long after that you're going to tie a loop at the end of the four strands so that they stay together just like how you would do for a friendship bracelet. Next, take your strands and clip it to the clipboard so that you have a sturdy place to work. Um, before starting, you should know the names of each strand. The left and right strands are known as the working strand and the two middle strands are known as the core strand. So first off, uh, we're going to try to make a square knot. To do this, we're going to take the left working strand and create an L shape. Once you make your L shape, you're going to take your right working strand and loop it underneath and then over and then tuck it underneath the core strands. And then over the left working strand. So you should get something that looks like this. As you can see, you have your right working strand tucked under, and then over, then under the core strands, then over your left working strand. So now we can tighten this, make sure it's nice and taut. And now you've completed the first half of the square knot. Next you want to make the other half. So what you're going to do is just do exactly the same thing but in reverse. So with the right working strand, you're going to create an L shape like so. And then you're going to take your left working strand and have it go under then over and then tucked underneath your core strands. And then over your right working strand. And this is how it should look like. Now you're going to tighten it and you have completed a full square knot. So I'm going to show you this one more time. You're going to take your left working strand and create an L shape, like so. And now you're going to take your right working strand and have it tucked underneath under your core strands, then loop it through, and now tighten. That's the first half. Now you do the same thing again, but in reverse, to do your second half of your square knot. So you loop it, and then make sure it gets tucked under your core strands, then tighten.
make sure it's nice and tight. And that's all there is to it. So once you feel like you've made enough square knots, you can take your wood shoe of your choice and string it on using the core strands. Here I've chosen to use a yellow circle chew by Wear. So I'm just going to string it on using my core strands and um, sliding it up to the end of my square knot. Now to keep the wood shoe in the center nicely fastened, you're just going to create a square knot. So like with any square knot, you're going to take your left working strand and create an L shape. And then you're going to take your right working strand and tuck it under. And then you're going to tuck that under again, under the core strands. Now you've completed half of the square knot and now tighten it and make sure it's nice and tight. And now your bead is in the middle. Now do the same thing again, but in reverse, to complete the square knot. Now you're going to do this a couple times to give a little space e in between each wooden shoe. Here I slid in another wooden shoe, the blue cylinder one. And then I'm going to make a square knot to fasten it on the hanging charm. And then of course, I'm going to make a little bit more space in between each shoe again. So I make a couple more square knots. And next I'll slide in the red star chew and make a square knot for this one as well. in a rectangle or a green rectangle with two. And now you can unclip it from your clipboard and take a look at what you've made. And now to finish it off, you just tie off the ends like you would with any other knot and cut off the excess twine. And there you go. So here is the hanging chew toy. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you and your hamster enjoy this new toy. Bye bye. All together is good. I just wonder if you like me. I can show you my love here.